Welcome to this week's edition of Tahoe Talk. I'm joined this week with the owner of the Cork and More, Jim Warlow. Jim, thanks for taking time to join us. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Jim, for some of our viewers that aren't familiar with the Cork and More, where are you located? And uh, tell us a little bit about the business. Well, we're right in the middle of town on El Tahoe Boulevard and Highway 50. The shopping center is uh, a name that's unknown to most people called the Tahoe Center, but more commonly known probably is the center behind Denny's across the street from Ross and the main post office, city center, uh, offices, county offices, and that are in the vicinity and uh, elementary school, middle, middle school. Jim, I, I think I've worked with you since I got here in town back in 1993 seems like the Cork and Moore has, has evolved a little bit over the years. Is that, you know, a function of, you know, tailoring to what the business, you know, community um, dictates or? Well, that's, a, that's an observation uh, that's good on your part. Uh, I think how that store has evolved is what we have seen in our travels. Kim and I both uh, like to travel. We spend a lot of time traveling around California and as much abroad as we can. And as we see things, as we see products, we see uh, things that are missing in Lake Tahoe, we've kind of brought those things back. You know, it's tried to to make a, a deli that um, provided food that's prepared on premise. We use the farmer market products as much as we can in the summer. You know, we've we've tried to do a wine selection that was different than, uh, and that's grown in the in the 35 years that we've been and evolved from California boutique only to the world of wine that matches with the Californias to the cheese selection that encompasses cheese from all over the world and now as the US is getting into the cheese business as, and providing local products that are just to rival anyone we're bringing those things in so whatever we've been able to see that we thought was kind of missing we've tried to bring a, a step up from the mass market, you know, step up from the grocery stores and the, and the discount places that, that provide, you know, all our wants and needs, but just something to make it a little bit nicer here in South Lake Tahoe. The business environment the last couple of years has been a little tough. This winter was, was even more tough. How does a, you know, smaller business such as yours uh, continue to do well? Uh, in a market such as is it customer service? Well, it, it hasn't gotten any easier. It's definitely customer service. You know, we've, uh, uh, our business does so well because of the employees, the staff that we work with. And we've got a lot of uh, people who have been there, you know, 10, 20 years, you know, plus with us. So, you know, those kind of familiar faces, those kind of people to continue to do a good product and provide service on a repeat basis is the kind of thing that helps spread the word a little bit. Like you said, you know, the the, the people coming to the lake have been fewer, it's harder to get to them, the whole social media thing is changing, and so as you try and keep up and, and stay with all of that stuff, uh, it, it still comes down to basic whole word of mouth, you know, if somebody uh, comes to visit Lake Tahoe every two or three years and they come back to that little store that they visited the last time and it's still there, you know, I think that's the kind of thing that people like to see on their repeat visits. So we've been able to do that, but uh, not without some uh, trimming, that's for sure. Yeah, no question. Jim, my favorite part of this segment is, you know, everyone comes to Lake Tahoe for their own reasons uh, to recreate. Where are we going to find you and Kim this weekend? Kim and I like to do anything that's seasonal. You know, so if it's winter, we ski. If it's summer, we go out in the boat. We ride bicycles. You know, we try and do as many different things. Well, Jim Warlow, owner of the Cork and More, located here in South Lake Tahoe. Jim, thanks for taking time to join us. That'll do it for this week's edition of Tahoe Talk. We'll see you next week.